Yannick Sinner versus Jack Draper is the second semi-final for the men's US Open for 2024. And both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. Draper into the tournament as the number 25 seed and will take on Zhong in the first round. But unfortunately, Zhong wasn't able to finish the match and retired in the third set with Draper winning 6-3, 6-love, 4-love retirement. In the second round, he take on Diaz Acosta. And again, no problem for Draper getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-2, 6-2. In the third round, he take on Van der Zanschul, who had just beaten Alcaraz in one of the biggest upsets in recent history. But again, no problem for Draper getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-4, 6-2. In the fourth round, he take on Mahatch, who had beaten some Sebastian Korda earlier in the tournament. But again, no problem for Draper getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-1, 6-2 to advance to his first quarterfinal of a slam. In the quarterfinals, Draper would take on Demonor, the number 10 seed, who'd already made two quarterfinals of slams this year. But Draper was too strong getting through in straights. 6-3, 7-5, 6-2 to advance to the semifinals. Sinner into the tournament as the number one seed and would take on McDonald in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would come back to win. 2-6, 6-2, 6-1, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on Mickelson. But this time, no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 6 love, 6-2. Third round, he'd take on O'Connell, who'd taken out Jarry along the way. And again, no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6 1, 6 4, 6 2. In the fourth round, he take on Tommy Paul, 14th seed. And this was a battle. With Sinner having to fight back in the first set and winning a couple of tie breaks to eventually run away with it. 7 6, 7 6, 6 1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Medvedev, the number five seed, who'd played two epic five setters against in the previous two Grand Slam matches they played. And after splitting the first two sets, Sinner would win in four. 6 2, 1 6, 6 1, 6 4 to advance to the semifinals. These guys have only played one time before. That was actually on grass three years ago at Queen's Club with Draper getting the win. So I don't know how much we look into that as any sort of form. It was two tiebreak sets because Sin is so much better now and also Draper is a lot better than back then. If Draper's going to win this one, he's going to need to serve super well and also get off to a good start if he's going to get the win because if you give Sinner a lead, we saw with most of the players this week, it's very hard to get back unless Sinner falls off, kind of like we did against Mevedev, but I don't think he's going to do that too much more in the future. So he's got to serve well and he's got to get off to a really good start if he's any chance of winning this semi. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to limit the errors. So many errors against Mevedev was really strange to see. It's a very strange match overall, that one. It's hard to kind of figure out what happened, but need to limit the errors and also get a lot more first serves in Sinner if he's going to beat Draper and get to the final. Great matchup. Very interesting matchup. Draper doing some great things. And of course, Sinner trying to win two slams in a year. I have to go with Sinner in this one in four sets. I'll give Draper a set. I reckon he's been so good this week and he's going to be, you know, another future Grand Slam champion maybe in the making, but I have to go with Sinner right now in the four sets. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.